has been so glorious and has been unique. And it's like a, we have, it's an homecoming. Everybody is renewed and loaded, going back to go and display. And we are very blessed throughout the conference. And since Monday we have started the program, it has been wonderful. We have talked to her today, our scholarship on Monday. And yesterday, we was talking to her about the born free, that we are born to be free and led us to salvation yesterday, that we must rededicate our life and uh, renew our ways of life. And we have to pray very well yesterday for God to have mercy on us, to change all our ways. In any way, we have not been doing it fine. And we have realized ourselves and we have really blessed God because we are going back to our various destination to start afresh. And we know God is going to be glorified at the end. Amen, amen, amen. So yeah, uh, I. I really, you know, love the way you were able to break down from the ministers' conference down to day one and to day two. So, yes, yeah, to those who are still seated at home and they are wondering, should I still make it to this camp or not? What word do you have for them? I will only encourage them to come down to the camp. It's, a, it's different. Watching it at home, you can't compare to coming to the redemption camp. Because Baba told us yesterday that uh, it is not the blessing we are taking the camp here. It's not, you can't compare to the one we are taking through the, the media. Because... This is the place we have about the prayer. We have praised this last Thursday that every soil of this land is becoming a fire. So everybody that touched this ground, they are touching fire. So you can't compare it to those that are wishing at home. I want to encourage those that are still at home. They should come quickly so that they join the blessing that is flowing here. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Enjoy your service. Thank you so much. Wow. Indeed, our Father and the Lord has said that the ground, that every single corner at the Redemption Camp is filled with God's fire. Do you really want to experience God's fire? Hmm. That's left for you to decide. Good evening, Ma. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you doing today, Ma? I'm fine. All right, Ma, please, what is your name? I am Adan Nonwebu. All right, Ma, how has been the service for you so far? The service was so awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. The kind of prayer session I'm seeing, I've not seen it before. I've not seen it before, so I really enjoy it. I can't even sleep in my lodge because of the prayers. So you joined the prayer hub, yes, I guess? Yes, yes. Oh, and it's been fun. Yes, and yes. So. Mm, glory be to God. Glory be to God. So, Ma, uh, what region are you from? I'm from Region 33. Thirty-three, and uh, so you came all the way from River State. Yes. Wow. How was the journey? The journey was fine. It's very smooth. We give glory to God. We give glory to God. So, Ma, uh, how long have you been a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God? Like I joined Redeemed when I married my husband, 2015. So from then to now, you've been a Redeemed member. Yes. Yes. All right, Ma. So I just want to, you know, ask you a little question. You know, uh, we've 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 been hearing SOD, SOD, SOD at our various branches, uh, at our various areas and zones. That word SOD, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> S-O-D. <laughs> S-O-D. I don't know. You don't know. Should I, should I help you? Yes. Okay, it means school of disciples. Okay. So Thank when you hear the word S-O-D, you know it's school of disciples. Yes. All right, Ma. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. God bless you and enjoy your service. Thank you so much, Ma. So, yes, you know, one thing I have been able to understand is that, you know, making sure that people understand little acronyms can indeed be very helpful because that way they can grow and learn about, you know, the ways of the church and also teach someone else who might be new into the system. So, yes, we are still live at the red carpet uh, and this is still RCC Radio. We are at the old arena. Uh, in case you're still wondering, you know, uh, should I still come? You've heard it from people. Everybody has indeed encouraged, you know, you to stand up, get up from that chair, get up from that bed, stand up, have your bath, pack your bags and make your way down to Redemption Camp because it is indeed going to be a phenomenal service today because it is the third day and tomorrow is uh, Thursday and of course the Holy Ghost service proper will be coming up on Friday. You don't want to miss these three days because it promises to be, you know, hot, fire, energetic and of course fantastic. My name is N-I-N-O Nino and yes, uh, on this note... We will be uh, moving straight to the football session, and we need you to join us. God bless you. Yeah, please let's celebrate our daddy. Also in our midst is uh, Pastor Deji Afuya. Pastor Deji Afuya has been a regular face all the way from the quarterfinals down to this grand finale. And it's also here again this evening, Pastor Deji Afuya. Thank you, Daddy, for being our
there, but it's cleared out by the defensive line of Region 21.
Nadia and Prosper so far has been so lovely and so tense. Uh, the Abuja boys playing so confidently so far. They have been getting attention except for the fact that the weekend won in their half so far. Going the Abuja boys on. You can watch us live. It's a train. We can turn. Continues. The defender turns down. But it's a train again. One for me for you, can turn. And it takes a quick one. A long training. Can he locate the air? And that's a one. But it saves out. And they return the ball. Takes possession. The ball in the same hand of the keeper of Apatunde, the hero of the quarterfinal, the hero of the semi final. And let's see what happens today. Saps that one out, ball by the defender, a quick one. A train for Richard. Join for region 21. 
so far, so far, the game has been calm. No much pressure. It's a high foot there. What a tackle. Frigid. That shouldn't have come on. 21. What do you think about the game so far? Uh, the game has been fair. Both sides doing their best. So far, so good. Good foot play. That's a Troy now. In favor of the Region 10. seeing the two teams still playing goalless and uh, the player meeting with the referee maybe to make some complaints so far and they think that's it. And uh, for the halftime we'll be witnessing a cultural display from the CRM players.
How both teams are playing? What do you think? Well, with the way the game has been so far, it will be decided by penalty so far. I, I, I think it will be decided by you penalty. To, to think that uh, this will be decided with a penalty. We are looking that the two teams are strong in They both not to I think it's going to be judged through a penalty. Looking at me, saying my own aspect of the, the Look, game. Looking at it from the very beginning of this competition, in excellence, uh, they have shown sportsmanship, quality in terms of skills, talent. Dedication makes it quite very difficult to so make a prediction right now. I think this is going to be the best. To have a winner before the 90 minutes of play. It's been an amazing competition so far. Wonderful competition. You know, an amazing initiative of the redeemed Christian Church of God. 
under the leadership of the directors of sports. Amazing, amazing. It's indeed a perfect Jubilee season. I mean, the winner, we need to see one team knowing how to use the ball more than the other. One team. And I think the two teams are just so careful of each other. It's the finals. You expect them to be careful. Yes, right? one silly mistake and you lose it all. So you have to be very, very Every mistake in other rounds of the game might not count, but in the final, mistakes count a lot. The ball clears for a throwing and. The defender clears it again. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, oh takes the ball out. That's oh, the that's referee blows that's against that. That's a foul. That's a foul. foul. Ten. He actually had his boots out to to get the ball, and I think he he had his feet. The referee, it's indeed. I I to him. He needs. He wants to take his time. Okay, standing up. Ladies and gentlemen, still the finals. Uh, he tries to look, but he couldn't, and it's a throwing again. Throwings in this competition. So much is life. I think throwing year and year. I think it's going to be a long throwing. Yeah, he's going to make a long uh, Tries to. To corner. Well, he just had to send that somewhere. And the lovely one there. It's a corner kick for Region 10. Okay, it's a corner. And still with us is uh, our dictator, A.Y. Lala. A.Y. Lala, how far is the final? <laughs> Honestly, so far so good. But we have seen a KG affair so far so good. But I'm sure very soon they know that it is a winner take up final they are they are left with no choice Michelle. you are very careful indeed general only full attack and then your back is open they save careful drawing quickly taking and we have a ding dong affair in the middle of the box, and the drawing has gone the way of uh, the flamboyant boys from FCT. Drawing taken quickly, is trying to find the nearest player, but ball well defended now. And uh, the present has now with a loose. They are still asking all the questions, but the Abuja boys have taken. Too much and out of touch for a throwing to the base setters. GD, I have to hand over to you now. Let's hear your view concerning these games. This is what we have come to expect in the final. Giving it down because they know it's a winner takes all situation. 
only one team will be winning that giant trophy. And we expect these two teams in the second half of this encounter to really come out firing in us. Gide, you know what? Just a single goal will change the complexion. Await that goal and look at that move again. Sending the pull out, but no one, virtually all the players in the box, they were connect properly as that opportunity again. Absolutely. Go. And uh, we have not witnessed any in this game just yet. But hopefully one of these Puja boys, but that's the doing a good defensive work there. And they are putting all the questions now. Uh, missed the game and they lose one. Camley defensive work there. Oh, but the referee has spotted a free and a free kick has been awarded to the... Uh, we do not know what the tactical instructions have been at the break, but we expect that to carve out the opening that them that decisive edge in this encounter. And GD, you. you can see what is at stake. Look at what is at stake. And uh, from the records, that is a giant elusive trophy that is up for grab uh, this evening. Absolutely. It's a winner takes all. And one of these teams this evening will be the one to take home this giant trophy, as mentioned. The fans are here in their numbers. I look to my left, I look to my right, and football fans storm in this arena this evening to see the best of football, and honestly, right from the start of this competition, the best of football artistry. They have with a rushing out, but uh, he was able to do a young man's job there and oh. stopping that player and out of touch. And no I keeper playing the player sweeper role in that position, shielding the player and making the ball go out for a throwing. And GD, a kudos to our dear daddy, the deep Christian Church of God. Just to be able to come up with this championship, and we have gotten all the necessary to our dear daddy. Here we are today. A chance for the visitors. What can I do? He does his work. Hey! Oh, that was a good defensive work there. Opportunity once again for Rejoice. But the defense line stood tall in that position, made sure that they cleared their lines. Did they stand in? defensive uh, one that uh, man there. Going back to what you earlier talked about, our Father in the Lord, this great opportunity to show football at its finest. I think uh, one of the first things that we need to consider would be the stru structure, structure. They are now that the man uh, that they have been given a mandate by a father and the Lord to produce a team, I think it will be down to the technical team to create that structure high up in the echelons of football. In this GD, match them young players ranging from the age of 17 and two of them to uh, form the Oculus. Importantly, GD, it's all about evangelism. Oh, yes, you can. Church of God, evangelism is in the heart of our Father and the Lord. Every opportunity we have, we must witness the word, we must spread the word of Jesus Christ. And uh, football is another avenue where evangelism will be key in witnessing to people in the world.
did a, a lot of commendation has to go to the MOC and uh, they have worked all around the clock to ensure free championship Puja boys take it over but a good defensive work there by the absolutely uh, the organizing committee of the championship have done a human's job in putting this the and the presenters like a lightning train there but he was not on he was unable to connect properly and ball gone out of touch the Abuja FCT boys absolutely brilliant job by the organizing committee of The technical the players that have been picked from this championship, a lot of players, 50 or dear about that we have, and he has also uh, the technical team. Yeah. Uh, the details as uh, supplied by the head of the technical committee will be made available. But right now, it's still the finals between Region 10 and Region 21. It's commendable. Already in this tournament, 50 players have been shot to the camping phase that will see them of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Gide, I must ask you, what is your take on the name that has been... Uh, uh, put together for the House CJ team, Dope FC. I mean, in all sincerity, I think this one has to go out to the, the popular opinion as uh, not me align with opinion. If that is the if that is the name, but I just think uh, they say in what that name will be. It did go, a glass of a header, the presenters, and that attacker could not get to that ball. And kudos to the back line of the Abuja boys. I mean, that's <laughs> 21 has been a hard time. Taking good play through, he beats his man beautifully, but it. Uh, completely do that and it sends a, a good job there but uh, to no one they pace at us I mean the striker the man when Jesse 21 has been a handful in this game he has been full of running full of energy he has given so much concern to the back line Going to Region 21, it said more well cleared and defended, and uh, I'm quickly I'm going to be taking the that have been short, shortlisted uh, for the Dove FCT team, and uh, first on the list is uh, Michael. Michael Paul, and an opportunity the now. The Region 21 players. Coming forward. By, by the man in goal. The second central attacker. Michael Bossing is from Region 30. Ezekiel Matthew sent from Region 30 also attacking also from Region 30 also from One goes wide and this is 
good to me. I was in a better position to take a shot on target. Dominion fit to be part of the initiative for do for Dove FC. Dominion from Region 28 has also been picked. Uh, Joseph Silva from Region 28 also. Dayo Mefida from Region Oye. Gideon a goalkeeper also from Region 2. A congee. Also from Region 21. Also from Region 20. Region 21. Is Petros from Region 10. Emmanuel Bebwe from Region 10. Gabriel Joseph from Shago Samuel from Region 10. Good luck, William. Region 10 and Region From Region 10. Pick from Region 12. Jai Oluwashe from Akiba Peter from Region 10. Akiba Peter. Midfielder from Region 12, Alex Wyas. He writes wing. It's a chance, chance for Region 10. A chance for but the goalkeeper to the right to snuff out the danger on that particular occasion. Alex Wyas also picked from Region 12. A friend by John yeah. from Ken Gada from Region 28. Gambo Richard from Region 28. Tosi and Mary. Justin and it's a Sunday this time the from Region back. 1. Basi Jonah Family. from Region 1. Ukwabi yeah, Atobi from Region 34. Jacob Prince from 34. Two. Ella from Colade from Region 2. Chima from and Region 27. Region 21 on the attack on this particular. It's outside the box. It's going to be. Just outside the edge of the 18. To have made the initiative for Dove FC with Kuti Okpayemi from Region 11. Ojo David Okpayemi. 11. Tayo Moro Folu from Region 11. Upoku Kamilos. Region 6. Fire Moses from Region 6. Uh, region 10 are preparing substitution that it's a free dangerous position the manager is number seven free kick that player could not go down Yeah. 
that has been picked for the Uh, we have Pastor Gide Jindadu from Region 10. Secretary, we have Coach Patrick Gregory from Region 30, the assistant coach. And we have Province 3. Olufemi from Region 12, team coach. And we have coach Ayodele Bayawa from Region 21, also one of the assistant coach. That's the final. And we are witnessing another substitution for Region 10. That player wearing just. And I've just been told that these boys, the Kifa International Scouting Program, coming up. Congratulations. Finally goes out for a true John Ten. Another long throwing. has finally come to life and right now for the one It's a winner takes all. Any choice but to respond in this one and respond they are trying to do right now, pushing men forward. This is good. It's a long throwing. By that man, the captain of absolutely brilliant this evening. And not a long throwing. It's a barrage of attacks right now. From and once again, uh, this is a counter-attack situation. Player is able to get to the ball, is able to get the ball, he sends a long make him but expertly done by the defender. The referee has blown for a throw-in. Right now, the goal changes everything, as we say. And they, won, they have to go for the jugular. They have to get a goal in this game, or else that trophy all the way to A B J. It's a free kick to Region 10. And again, ball goes out for a goal kick. I think uh, desperate times right now for Region 21. Uh, we have seen them come back in games. Uh, we'll see if they can. But as it stands, all the advantage lies with Region 10 in this particular encounter. This evening, the person of uh, Pastor Chris Olukolade, the former spokesperson for the Nigerian 
uh, the fence uh, uh, council is here with uh, in our midst uh, coming around. The PIC in Abuja. Uh, this evening, Osamolo FCT 14, Abuja. And we have a man down on the top. It's a player from the region. Also in our midst.